Stephen, a bit of a dramatic ending to the game there and another three points. How do you reflect on that? I think if we're honest over the piece, you know, I know the second half didn't have a lot of fluency in it. I felt we deserved it. You know, maybe more for our first half performance and the chances we created. I mean, they had a couple of chances second half, probably mainly from set plays. They were quite a big, strong side. So um, I, I don't really remember Peter and Goal having a, a save really to make. You know, I think he'd have a couple of tip over the bar, but there's nothing really clear cut for them. Um, I felt the longer the game went on, that we weren't going to get beat until Barry had that little slip towards the end and you think, oh, here we go. You know, Barry was involved in a penalty incident. Or it was a penalty or a, an own goal or something last year that, that cost the team three points. And, it, you know, it was almost mirror image again. So thankfully we got away with it. But, you know, apart from that, I felt we were reasonably comfortable that we weren't going to lose. The challenge I was almost trying to think was, did we have enough to go and win the game? And I think we had a little bit more, you know, that Dylan Faulkner, you know, two or three minutes before when the cross was on the left-hand side from Adam, I felt as if he could have got himself across Danny Higgins, number four, and he, you, you know, he could have scored. So I'm thinking, believe in yourself. He then done it a couple of minutes later. He was strong down the right-hand side. Sean, who you know hasn't played a lot of football and is getting better, understanding what we're looking for from him, he was prepared to run beyond his man and get himself into the box. Um, he was ahead of the ball, got a ball into Alfie. And, and yes, we get a little bit of a break, but I, I, I just felt for the effort and for the energy the lads put in that we'd earned a wee break. So um, delighted with the three points. And when you look at the two starting lineups as well, Stephen, the Kamarnock fielding quite an experienced side in comparison to the younger Motherwell side tonight, and it's another challenge for the boys that they've, they've come through. Well, we'd kind of got wind of that before we left, that they were probably going to play experienced players, so we almost laid a marker down back at the club before we came away and, and, and asked them could they rise to the challenge. You know, We weren't too sure who the five were, but almost every individual said, that if it's an experienced player you're playing against, can you rise to the challenge? We've done it against Queen's Park, we've done it against Crusaders in the Iron Brew Cup. This was almost another test. And it's felt in particular the three centre defenders, you know, Jordan, Barry and, and, and Kyle, um, you know, stood up to Lee Irwin and Brophy. These guys have got, you know, experience in the Scottish Premiership. They've scored goals in the Scottish Premiership. You know, Lee's played in England, playing under 21s with Scotland. So it, it was a challenge for them to really stand up and, and cope with, with the physical presence. And I thought they'd done that. You know, I thought they were excellent. You know, I thought the way they headed the ball, at times maybe a little bit deep, I would like them to be a little bit higher. But all over the pitch, I just felt as if there was no fear in us. And can we be better? Yes. Can we keep the ball better? Yes, we can. And it's always that final thing we do with the ball. You know, in the end, we've got Dylan Faulkner and James and, and Jamie Sample and, and Alfie. They're young men trying to make their way in the game. You know, and the strikers, sometimes it's the hardest thing to do is have that little final touch, that final cross loose. So, um, you know, as many chances as we had, we have to be better in certain instances. But, you know, for the, for the fact of standing up and being resilient, showing the physicality, I thought the referee was a bit soft. I felt every time we challenged, you know, maybe it's just me, but I just felt... You know, we don't have an aggressive bunch, and you know, it was free kick left, right, and centre. But anyway, you know, they withstood that as well, so really pleased. We saw James Scott have a couple of decent chances denied, and then of course Alfie mm. in the starting lineup scoring that goal right at the end. And you must be pleased for him. It's been tough for him. You know, he hasn't had a lot of game time, and when he has played, the team probably hasn't played as well when he's been in it. That's not a criticism of him. It's maybe just how it falls sometimes. So he hasn't as many minutes as what he wanted. I think that's his first ever 90 minutes for me. You know, maybe had one last season at Inverness or against Inverness, but he got better. You know, but what I want him to have is have a goal threat. Do all your good work, yet run down the channels, yet hold the ball up, win your headers. But when the ball goes wide, can you think goal? Can you think I'm going to go and score goals? We have that with James at the minute as well. You know, James has got a, a good habit, a bad habit at the minute of hitting the goalie when he's through one-on-one. He won last week, yeah. you know. Um, he'd won this week as well. Sorry, he had two this week in the first half. So it's almost just them gaining that little bit of belief, you know, going and getting that goal. Hopefully that'll give Alfie a lift. You know, I expect now he'll be quite bubbly about the place. He's been quite low, he hasn't played. We spoke to him during the week, went through a game with him, we showed him some of his stuff, you know, give him a little list of things he has to improve on. So, you know, we want him to improve, we believe in him, we trust him. It's not always going to be right, it's not always going to be perfect, but pleased for him tonight. And the boys are pleased for him as well. You know, they know how hard he works and how little game time he's had, so pleased all around for Alfie. Yeah, well, and another positive result, Stephen, and thanks for your time again. Cheers, Lewis, thank you.